honorary Brits. Oh. Honorary Brits. Honorary Brits. You heard it here. Yeah. We're at a waterfall. We are friends. Are we friends? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Send caffeine. <laughs> Boo -boo. Boots. 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 No. I'm trying to give a speech Karen. and this yeah. man is talking. <laughs> Brushing your hair when you're in England. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. Why you would have a panic attack over an onion? <laughs> 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 I'm Thwaite. Right? Oh, we say Thwaite, but around here they call it Thwaite. These are our English parents. A little bit different vlog. We're featuring Armina family, Stephen Val. So we're gonna kind of talk about what we did, and I'm just gonna talk to you guys. Okay. Get, we are currently staying in a cottage that they so wonderfully. Um, provided us with here. Our little village that we're staying in maybe has 20 buildings. Okay, first question. Like, t talk a little bit about how you guys got involved with Harlickston. We have a son who's just a little bit older than you, who's a student, and we simply felt that if he'd have ever chosen to go and travel abroad, that we would want, we, we would hope that some family would look after him and would show him the real country, not just the tourist country. Mm -hmm. And we felt it was something that we would like to do for young Americans. So, what do you guys think it means to be British? Like, what does that mean to you to be British? What is I, think, I think we're um, a very proud nation. I don't know what it feels like to be British, really. I mean, I suppose you, you're just born British. So. I think we're English rather than British. Very distinct cultures between England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland. British people don't necessarily feel very European. European identity crisis. Ugh. The top one thing we've learned from being in Europe. No one knows who they are. Yeah. Everybody wants to not be part of the thing that they're part of. <laughs> and you're like, just be part of the thing. And they're like, Leave no. It. And they're like, we don't want to. And For anyone who has never left America, mm. what would you say to them that would make them want to travel? Just get outside your comfort zone and just do it. No matter mm -hmm. how old you are. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, not yeah, absolutely. It's mm -hmm. never too late. It doesn't matter what our nationality is, or what our religion is, or what our colour is, or what our language is. There's far, far more that unites people in the world than ever divides them, and that's one thing I truly believe. And by travelling, you, you understand so much more, and you realise that people are people. And um, most of them are actually wonderful. Tell us a little bit about the, oh. the weekend that we've had. The weekend that we've had. Oh, the we oh, the, we've done so much. And Durham. 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 Durham was fantastic. Uh, it's where George went to university. Yeah, it's where their son went. Four years. Uh, we, I felt like I was on a college visit with my parents. They were at Hotel. Where we had our drink. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Next, yeah. Next, next to on the shores of Lake Windermere. Yes. So that was nice. <laughs> That's my house. <laughs> yeah. Lake, Lake. Our walk through Grasmere was just. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, William Wordsworth. William Wordsworth. William Wordsworth's great. We went to a real English pub. Like we're in the middle of nowhere, England. Beautiful English countryside, and we went to a pub. What is one thousand seven hundred sixty yards equivalent to? Chris. The Radio Times. <laughs> The Radio Times is correct. Well done, well done. And we've also been to the creamery where they make the Wallace and Gromit cheese. Yeah. That's so good. I love cheese. <laughs> Baby sheep. Baby sheepy. <laughs> and then we have plum loaf. Um, plain scone with homemade blackberry jam, butter. Lemon drizzle cake and Victorian sponge cake. And then there's salad. and okay. soup and fruit salad. Soup and yummy fruit yummy. salad also on the way. Yummy yummy. And orange juice for the sick ones. Because <laughs> we're sick. Val and Val took us to the pharmacy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Boots and got us medicine and um. You're getting better now. Yeah. yeah they, they, they they I can breathe. Is there anything you want to say to our parents back home? Thank you for sharing your wonderful daughters with us. Yes. They've been uh, superb guests. And manners are meticulous. And Shailen eats everything. everything. We're so I proud of her. On camera. She's, she's, I'm so proud of her. We love you. We miss you. This has been S Stephen Bell. Meet the parents. Meet the parents. <laughs> Mwah. I'm going to go eat some cake. Bye. <laughs> you want Jack and Grace. I came second. Okay. <laughs> Shailen won. <laughs> just disappears into the cloud. I don't know if you can see that, can you but tell? no, it just looks like it ends, but it doesn't end. 
it disappears into the sky. All right. Very classy. Okay, bye.